Harry's Wife, Part 102.85. Netflix will pull the plug at any time. Words that undoubtedly would strike anxiety, perhaps even fear, into the cruel, misshapen heart of Harry's wife. For yes, she does experience anxiety and fear. As a narcissist, she does experience those things. Her narcissism utilizes them to cause her to feel that way in order to seek the prime aims. And of course, the potential threat of losing the payday of the huge Netflix contract is a major problem. If that were pulled, it would amount to significant wounding to Harry's wife and also the loss of a major residual benefit. There would then, of course, be all the consequential problems that would arise from that. How are they going to pay for the house? How are the security going to be paid for? What about the parental trees? Can they still be watered? What will happen to poor Archie if he can't talk to the trees? Woe upon woe upon woe. Accordingly, the risk that Netflix may well pull the plug at any time on this forthcoming project, alongside, of course, the problems that have been spoken about in terms of the Crown's impact upon it, the contradictions that contained within this docuseries vis-a-vis -vis Harry's memoir, it's all turning into something of a clusterfuck. But let's find out more about what's being stated. In the Super Sorrowway Sun, Katie Forrester writes, No guarantees. Prince Harry and Harry's wife's money-spinning Netflix deal could be killed at any time. Netflix bosses warn. Netflix bosses have told the Duke and Duchess of Sussex they will pull the plug on their multi-million dollar deal at any point if they are unhappy with what they produce according to an industry insider. If this is accurate, this is levelling a threat at the narcissist. This threat, of course, is interpreted as a threat to control. The article continues, The couple and their team at Archwell, who were reported to have signed a $100 million contract, were advised there are no guarantees what they will create will air. And it could mean they end up losing millions as they are yet to launch a show on Netflix and now allegedly want to edit the content produced for their new docu-series, according to page six, Assertion of Control. The Sussexes reportedly want to review the tone of some statements and potentially delay its release until 2023, despite it being scheduled for release later this year. However, executives at the billion-dollar broadcaster have final edit decisions where they can veto their clients' proposals or even end business deals. It is likely if the service doesn't greenlight any of their shows, they will still receive a kill fee as is standard within the industry, although it isn't described what that kill, kill fee will actually be. One would anticipate that it would be a lot less than $100 million. Kill fees are typically somewhere in the region of, I think, somewhere around 20 to 25% of the total amount. Uh, sometimes can be higher, dependent on the stage that has been reached in the work and what has been negotiated. But let's assume it's 25%. That means that they would get 25 million, which is still a pretty decent payday for a load of nonsense. But remember, Harry's wife won't see it that way. Her narcissism will focus on the fact that $75 million has gone begging. And of course, it's not her fault. Other heads will have to roll. The article continues, Netflix has already walked away from Harry's wife's project, Pearl, after deciding the content was, quite frankly, shit, I beg your pardon, was not what they wanted. A Netflix LA-based consultant told the US Sun, Harry and Harry's wife are in a tricky place right now. Sure, they may have concerns about the content in the can and what they said on camera about the royals, but Netflix held the power. In reality, it is their outlet and they have final say on what is broadcast. No talent is greater than Netflix. So while there may be concerns or pushback from the Sussexes on what they want to present on screen, Netflix can carry on. 
And should the streamer's executives become frustrated, feel like a stalemate has been reached, or frankly just get fed up, they are entitled to walk away together. The Sussexes and their team knew that going into this deal, not that it will make any difference to Harry's wife, because even if you were fixed with that knowledge at the beginning, her narcissism will jettison it. Just because they are a duke and duchess makes no difference. If no settlements or agreements are reached, the deal could fold. The source explained that development deals in Hollywood end like this all the time, and at the time of agreeing to a contract for a project, all the parties share common goals. However, if those goals are not met or the parties are at odds, then everyone walks away amicably, they said. Certainly, no one is pushing around Netflix executives. With the utmost respect to Harry and Harry's wife, this is one deal within a multitude of content decisions the executive team discusses daily. And sure, while they are high profile, this deal is a business transaction. Netflix struck a deal with the promise of exclusive insight into the lives and outlooks of the Sussexes, which they felt would be a rating success. If they are uncertain that the content will produce the ratings they desire, then that becomes a problem. At pitch and content production meetings, it is made clear that Netflix prides itself as an independent editorial broadcaster. They do not simply release whatever contrib contributors serve up to them. They can go to YouTube for that. Ha! <laughs> Could you imagine Harry's wife on YouTube? She'd certainly get a lot of rubberneckers for whatever nonsense she was spilling. But it wouldn't, of course, pay her anywhere near the level that she requires, fueled by the grandiosity of her narcissism. The US Sun has reached out to Netflix and Archwell for comment, but did not hear back assertion of control by staying in a position of withdrawal. The source is adamant that Netflix has not and will not pay the Sussexes reported $100 million. He added, they got a couple of million for development up front, but that is just a small balance, which Netflix would see as a necessary loss. In May, the Sun revealed the enormous fee related to the Netflix deal is not the full picture. A source said, on the surface, this large sum seems enormous, but the truth is that their deal is all about budgets when shows get commissioned. Sure, they may have a couple of million in an advanced development deal to produce ideas, concepts, and film pilots. Even then, one has to say, getting a couple of million for the crap that she churns out is still pretty decent, isn't it? But they have not been handed 100 million. In reality, those sums would be handed over to cover the entire production cost of the project, with Archwell providing a breakdown on fees for all aspects of the making of the show. Including in that would be a broad understanding of the profits, too, for the company. Some deals see companies achieve as much as 20% of that total, while others can earn half that figure. Every deal is different. But fees for writers or executive producers like the Duke and Duchess are often specific amounts outlined in production budgets. That clarifies quite neatly the fact that they haven't got $100 million up front. And even if all was to go swimmingly well, they still wouldn't trouser $100 million for themselves because, of course, some of it has to be paid for the production costs associated with whatever that they are creating. However, this does underline where the power lies in this relationship. And it's not something that Harry's wife will like at all. And the potential risk of it being bulleted and them just receiving a kill fee is disastrous news. Of course, I don't see that it will necessarily come to that. Netflix still see that there's a lot of juice in them because of the hateful nature of their behaviour and that so many people will want to watch it, not because they like the Sussexes, but quite simply, it's wanting to see how nasty they behave, the rubbish that they come out with, so that people can go, oh, did you hear what she said? Netflix are banking upon that. Netflix don't care about the popularity of the gruesome twosome. They just want to know, will people watch in the way that people slow down for a car crash, the way that people stop and watch a train wreck? That's what holds their interest. And so long as there is an interest... Netflix simply don't care about what the basis for it is. Of course, if they deem that there isn't sufficient interest, that they deem the material is pants, then there's a problem. But I don't see it coming to that. Nevertheless, speculation of this nature is not something that Harry's wife would like to hear, because of course it represents a threat to that all-important control. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.